Hi guys, this is going to be for my Taurus and this is going to be for the week of 1 through the 5th of November. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what messages we have for you guys for this coming week. I'll be using my Affirmators Tarot Deck. So Taurus, let's see what in store. The ace, ace, eight of swords. <laughs> Who has you tied up or something had you tied up? Was it a man or a masculine energy? That is a Virgo. A Taurus. You. Or a Capricorn. Hmm. Let's see. We're going to figure it out. And whatever happened, it was in your favor. It balanced you. That's the justice card. Fair and balanced, possibly in your favor. Good for you. Then here came the devil, you know. So there's something you're tied to, something that's not too healthy for you. We'll figure it out put together. And then here comes the feminine queen of pentacles. The feminine earth energy. My Taurus, my Virgo, or my Capricorns. But I think since we're talking about you, Taurus, we may be talking. Hmm. We'll see. We'll figure it out. So, what's coming for you, my feminine queen of pentacles, my money manager? Seems like a fire sign. He's either going to be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. We, again, will clarify that. Now, I don't know what this devil here is doing. You know? But could this be an unhealthy obsession or unhealthy situation for you? We shall see. You need to go into within the four swords. Go within and relax. Be patient. Take your time. Just breathe. Belly breathe. Breathe in through your nose. Your stomach rises. and Just breathe all that stuff out. Quiet your mind. Okay. And the answers will come. Because whatever it is that you're wondering about, it has to do with finances. My money managers... And I do see that whatever you're dealing with or whatever situation you're in, you are carrying your burden, so to speak. I like to say you're, you're handling 
your situation around you quite well. Oops. Okay. Good Lord, what's going on? So what's tying you up here? The Eight of Swords. Let's see. I need a bigger space. I gotta figure that out. Because I do my art in here as well as my... Well, <laughs> this is art also. <laughs> um, but I create my paintings in here as well as my time with you guys. So, Eight of Swords. The King of Pentacles. Something to do with business. Tied you up not too long ago. Had you stuck? Or was it the King of Pentacles? Was it a masculine earth sign? It might, it might have had something to do with business. I do see that there was some kind of celebration. I got the Three of Cups, so I got the King of Pentacles. Oops. The Three of Cups. And the Seven of Cups. You're celebrating something, but you're not totally satisfied or you were not totally satisfied about something because you're still wishfully thinking about it and like searching for something. King of Pentacles. The High Priestess. The Five of Swords and the Lovers. Man, I say it's two earth signs involved, okay? You're involved with the earth sign. And a fire sign is underway. If not already here. I came up with the high priestess. You're having some conflict with this earth sign. And this person and you were lovers or are lovers still. I don't know if you've completely broken it off. But again, they are an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus. Man, two bullet heads together. Can you imagine that? Just strong headed. Ooh. <laughs> You look at him or her and you see yourself. So anyway. So let's see. I think there was or there is a separation coming. Whatever happened or whatever is going to happen is going to be in your favor. Um, you're going to be saving money. Um, what happened here? Somebody else was involved with someone. There was another person involved. I do, I got the four of, um, I got the four of pentacles above the justice card. The four of pentacles above the justice card. And on top of the four of pentacles came the three of swords. So there was some kind of heartbreak. And I personally think that it was someone else involved. Another person. That's why it came to this. And the person that was involved, the person who was involved could have been a fire sign. And they're pretty passionate people. Huh? They're Aries, Leos, Sagittarius. I want to 
I say I could understand the temptation. So above the devil came the star card. You're healing from something. Something that was unhealthy for you. In your environment. That's why the devil came up. It could be addiction. It could be the relationship. It could be... Um, it could be related to intimacy, you know, sex. But it's some unhealthy habit. It's a destructive, self-harming kind of habit, okay? But you, what you've worked on it or you're working on it and everything is going to turn out well. Whatever, it could be just like I say, just your environment, you know? This thing that happened in the past here, you know, or is happening with this fire sign <laughs> and the earth sign. <laughs> You know, so don't think all negative about it. But however it resonates. Something just happened or is about to happen. Okay, I'm going to tell you as I do see it. It's going to cause some chaos and confusion. It came above the, it came next to the. <laughs> so I got the tower. I'm sorry. Yeah, I. Uh, I got the devil first. Then I got the star. And then I got the tower. Now, it could be And I got the eight of I'm sorry, I got the strength card. Hmm. Whatever it is that it seems you're after or you are desiring, you're not gonna get it right now. You're first going to have to pull your courage. You need to focus, okay? You need to show yourself some compassion. I want to put one more card there. Financial growth is going to be slow and steady, okay? Maybe because of this possible split up or whatever is happening. Maybe you're just going to suddenly feel like, oh my God, I don't have, you know. Don't feel like that, okay? Everything is happening the way it's supposed to happen. You have free will. There's no need to worry over things that we can't fix. We just have right now. Everything will smooth out. Everything. Get the Queen of Pentacles. A new project. Ace of Wands. You got the urge to create something. So you see, darling, or my darlings, life is up and down. It is. You're going to make good progress. I got the um, the Six of Wands. You're going to have some good news and good fortune. So like I said, I mean, up and down. The thing about life is just don't stay down too long. You know, just don't stay in those dark places too long. Depression, anger, you know. It's not worth it. You're too beautiful. And you're going to have balance again in your life. I got the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so, I mean, this week is going to be a little chaotic here for you. Let's see what's going on with this King. Oops, this King of Wands. I ain't going to read all this here. Okay, let's see. Okay. Come on, stop. Pico. Sorry about that. He's digging his way to China. I'm 
babysitting. And he has to be by my side. Let's see the King of Wands. Sorry about my water. <laughs> uh, I got disturbed a little while ago. So the King of Wands, he coming really fast, man. This is a fast thinker. This fire sign, he's very action oriented. He's brave and he's going to succeed in whatever he's after. And he might be after you. He might be thinking about you. You better prepare. I got the Knight of Swords. So the news is coming really fast. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It, something is coming. Prepare yourself. You're about to make some progress where it's coming, where he's concerned. <laughs> she, this masculine energy. Is it the overseas opportunity? Is this person overseas? Or is it a job offer that this person's bringing? Is that the conflict? I don't I got the Queen of Pentacles on top. It's a money manager. Mm. Whatever it is, it's coming. It's going to be good, okay? It's going to be good. You're going to find yourself again. So I got the three of wands. And I got the queen of pentacles. So on the four swords, we got the Queen of Wands. Fire sign energy. Somebody is going to um, probably talk with you. This person is very um, confident. They might give you somehow or the other, they're going to have some part to do with this new beginning. It came on the four swords. It's something you're contemplating about, okay? This person is going to come, the, the Queen of Wands, a feminine fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, I can't think of the other one, <laughs> Leo, Sagittarius. And Aries, I'm sorry, I forgot Aries. So anyway, that person is going to bring some new beginnings. This is the fool. Okay. And it's coming very fast. The eight of wands, darlings. Okay. Think about it. Reevaluate everything. I got the four of um, cups. Or it could be that you just restless and you want things to be happening like yesterday. But your seed came above your seven of pentacles. It's something that's now being planted and you're now watering it. So you're watching it grow. So you need to be patient. All right. It, it, your rewards will be offered. Stop allowing it to keep you up at night. It's not good for your health. That's the nine of um, swords. And I see whatever is going on. You may have extra responsibilities. But you're carrying your burden pretty darn good. So everything will work out. And let's see the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. So this extra responsibility is very challenging. But you will persevere. These are your challenges. And this is you. Above them, okay? So no matter what's going on, just believe that. You will overcome them. You're waiting for something? I got the page of wands here. New messages are going to come. Information, things that cause excitement. <laughs> and it's going to be passionate. And I think it does have to do with that fire sign. It 
they're charming. They're sexy. And they're darn unpredictable. You're gonna have a good time. Just know life is up and down and everything has a way of working its, itself out. I love you guys and I thank you for spending so much time with me. <laughs> <laughs>